Star Wars fans, welcome back to another Star Wars The Vintage Collection action figure review. This time we're looking at the Offworld Jawa from The Vintage Collection number 203. Here is the card back. I picked this figure up, or well, picked both of these up from Big W today. CVC 203. Um, I am going to be opening this one too, but while I've just got one open, I thought I would uh, quickly record. A video um, while I've got a nice one carded. It's not nice, it's bent, that's just because I smashed it in my bag earlier. I didn't really care, I knew I was going to be opening them, so this is a this is a nice addition, um, particularly for those awaiting the Razor Crest later in the year, possibly early next, depending on how that's all going. But uh, yeah, those are getting Razor Crest, you're going to need a couple of these at least. The uh, the Crest is coming with one. Um, be slightly different to this one. It is the Jawa Elder, I believe. Off-world Jawa Elder. So it will probably be coming with mostly similar accessories. Um, so they come with two different, two different weapons here. Which is cool, because it means you can uh, differentiate a couple of your Jawas. Have them holding different weapons, um, and that's that's cool. I love love when they do that. Just means you can have a couple of different looking Jawas on the shelf. And uh, this tiny, teeny, tiny little blaster pistol here, as well. Very small. And of course, the Suga, the egg. Suga, Suga. So that's pretty cool. Now the one that's coming with the Razor Crest is actually open, so that's pretty cool. And although it does look like a hairy nut, <laughs> it's a uh, it's an interesting thing. It's uh, yeah, this could be one of the strangest accessories, but uh, yeah, it's cool. I like it. I dig it. In terms of the Jawa, it's pretty nice. I believe this is a uh, new sculpt. Don't, I didn't get the last Jawa um, that came out in the Vintage Collection, which was a repack of one of the uh, three and three quarter inch black series ones. So I'm not sure how much of it was reused for this one. It looks good, red eyes. Just a pointy hood there. A little tire running around the back. It's got these little belt underneath just has a simple robe no ankles or knee articulation here which is why I'm thinking it's probably just a reuse because um the original one probably would have just had the had the sort of cloak lower coat cape sort of sculpted to it um, whereas this one's just give been given soft goods which sits sits nicely a little bit frayed there but um that's just because I've been playing with it I think refix that up afterwards and just get it sitting properly so that's fine uh, it does have some articulation in the elbows and the shoulders so that's nice so I might even look at the foot peg here and see 2014 so yeah it is a, basically a reuse of that vintage collection one um, three and three quarter inch black series one just obviously different colors Yeah, nice simple little body underneath. You don't need anything more than that. You can probably sit him down like so. He looks fine. Have a little squad of Jawas just sort of sitting around a campfire or something. Trading scrap. Wanting eggs. But yeah, I dig it. Definitely in need of a couple of Jawas for the uh, Mandalorian shelf. I think it'll work really well. 
forward to coming up with a couple of scenes for some toy photography with with the Mando on this one. A couple of these little guys, little terrors. Awesome stuff. Love it. So that is number 203. Off-world Jawa based from Avala 7. It's basically Tatooine but with mud. <laughs> Let's be honest. No, it's cool. I like that episode. I, I kind of want to go back and rewatch it now just because I've got these little little turds in my hand. I think it's nice. Love to hear your thoughts. Please send out in the comments below. I was expecting a couple more figures this week, but um, looks like they've been delayed until uh, closer to the end of October now. Um, yeah, they sort of their pre-orders sort of went up um, a while back and when they were meant to be released on the release day they all went out of stock and it's taken them a few days to update that to sort of say that they've um, they've basically just been uh, delayed for another couple of weeks so that's okay I'm uh, I'm happy to sort of hold some cash for a little bit longer as much as I'd love some some new figures again um, these ones will tie me over for a little bit just that plastic crack addiction I have <laughs> You'll feel it too, trust me. All right, thank you very much. If you like this video, please give it a little thumbs up. That would be awesome. And uh, yeah, I'll be back with some more videos very, very soon. Stay tuned. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time. Ortenu!